On the 14th of May, 1914, excitement was running high around the Hina area, as plans were afoot to welcome some very special guests to the town. The Sheffield Evening Telegraph reported the forthcoming event as follows. Royal Visit to Hina The King and Queen will stop at Hina on the 25th of June for a minute, and the town is making great preparations for the event. Special arrangements are being made to give the children a good view of their majesties, and the youngsters will be presented with medals. Hina is to excel itself in the matter of decorations, and the Butterley Company are giving their employees a holiday. And yes, you did hear that correctly. King George V and Queen Mary would be stopping in Hina for precisely one minute, just 60 seconds. Their Majesties were coming this way on a much wider tour of Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. Hina was just one of the many places they would visit on what looked like being a hectic day for them. They were scheduled to start their day by leaving Welbeck Abbey at 10am, to arrive in Cresswell at 10.05am. The rest of the day's plan to the minute schedule was, 10.18am, Clown, 10.37am, Bolsover. 11.02 a.m., Shirebrook, 11.32 a.m., Plesley, 11.52 a.m., Mansfield. Between 1.22 and 2.42 p.m., their majesties would take luncheon at Newstead Abbey. At 2.57 p.m., they would arrive at Kimberley, 3.03 p.m., Orsworth, 3.20 p.m., Ilkston Market Place, 3.52 p.m., Hena, 4.05 p.m., Langley Mill, 4.10 p.m., Eastwood, 4.26 p.m., Underwood, 4.43 p.m., Kirkby in Ashfield, 5.1 p.m., Sutton in Ashfield, 5.10 p.m., Mansfield Woodhouse, 5.32 p.m. Warsop, and finally at 5.47 p.m., back to Welbeck Abbey. It was a tight schedule with most of the stops involving the presentation of local people to the king. At Ilkston he was to open a new secondary school, by pressing a button. But how would the king, and the queen, and their entourage, manage to keep to a schedule that was planned down to the last second? A simple hold up on a road somewhere would surely throw everything into disarray. But, the organizers had thought of that. They simply arranged to block the roads to all other traffic. The Ilkston to Hena Road was to be blocked from 2.15 p.m. until 4 p.m., and the Hena to Langley Mill Road from 3 p.m. until 4.15 p.m. A meeting was held in the town hall at Hena on the evening of 14 May, to formally announce the visit and to set out the town council's plans. On the following day, 15 May, many newspapers picked up on the story, with the Nottingham Journal headlining it with Royal visit to Hina. 4,000 school children to be presented with medals. The newspapers reported that there were 4,084 children in day schools in the district, and that each would be presented with a commemorative medal. 2,400 of the children would be assembled on the marketplace, to witness the short visit, which would be the first time a ruling monarch had officially visited the town. Children from the Codner and Losco wards would also be invited to the marketplace, even though those parts of the urban district had not been included in the royal itinerary. There was also a discussion as to if the children should be given a tea with their medal, or even instead of it, but the Reverend A.T. Caulfield moved that a tea would be impossible, on account of the expense and enormous amount of work that would be involved. A representative of the Butterley Company stated that it had donated £5 towards the event, bringing cheers from the audience. He added that the company would also make it a holiday for all their workforce, which brought even louder cheers. <laughs> Councillor Stainsby moved a resolution to decorate the route their majesties would travel along, and this was passed with ease. The route itself was revealed as up Monday Street into Ray Street, on 2 Market Street, 
then past the marketplace and down Mansfield Road to Langley Mill. Wormsley and Company of Leeds was to be asked to submit a scheme to decorate the route. Mr. John Holmes, the past holder of several responsible positions in the town, and the town's oldest man, who would be 94 years old the week of the King's visit, would be presented to their majesties. This had been confirmed by a letter from the Duke of Portland. So, the plans were set, and the council had just over a month to put it all into action, before their majesties would arrive. It was a shame that the children wouldn't be getting a celebratory tea, but at least they'd have their commemorative medals. As the big day, the 25th of June, drew near, everyone must have been on tenterhooks, as they rehearsed their parts, hoping the weather would hold fair, and that everything would run smoothly to plan and in the event, it did. The Derby Telegraph of the 25th of June, reported that the visit was a great success. The newspaper also reported that the children had been entertained to tea. Now hang on. So, the children did get a celebratory tea after all. I wonder when that was organised. Oh, and even though the King may not have stopped even for one minute in Langley Mill, the population there did still join in with the celebrations. In the same issue as the above, the Derby Daily Telegraph also reported. At Langley Mill enthusiasm was equally keen. The day's festivities included a tea for the children, sports, and a torchlight tattoo by the Hina, Langley Mill, and Losco companies of the Boys Life Brigade. It sounds like a wonderful day but the joyousness was to be short-lived, for just three days later, on the 28th of June, 1914, the Archduke Ferdinand would be assassinated in Sarajevo, setting off a series of events that would lead to the Great War. A war that would leave many of the young men who celebrated in Hina and Langley Mill on the day the King visited, with their lives changed forever.